Life Audio. Hello. Thank you for listening to your daily Bible verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for our lives. I'm your host, Grace Fox, and I'm inviting you to check out my brand new devotional book, Fresh Hope for Today, Devotions for Joy on the Journey. Sometimes life takes a detour and our way grows weary, but this book's 90 meditations renew our hope with its reminders of God's presence with us. Learn more about my resources and receive free printables when you subscribe to my updates at gracefox.com. And now, after this short word from our sponsor, we'll dive into today's Bible verse, Psalm 62, 5 and 6. Christmas. For most kids, it's the most joyful time of the year. But this Christmas, 1.5 million children will spend the holiday separated from a parent because their mom or dad is behind bars. Prison Fellowship Angel Tree needs churches in our communities to volunteer to bless local children with a gift, the gospel, and a loving message from their parent. I believe this is an incredible opportunity for our listeners to share the love of Jesus this Christmas. Many of Prison Fellowship's partner churches continue ministry to local Angel Tree families after Christmas is over. Through this ongoing care, Prison Fellowship Angel Tree strengthens and encourages families every day. Angel Tree wouldn't be possible without the help of faithful volunteers. If you're ready to make an eternal impact in your community, please register today at angeltree.org backslash church. That's angeltree.org backslash church. Hi, friend. Are you stressed, maybe even worried about so many needs around you that you've forgotten you are worth taking care of, too? Well, I'm Bonnie Gray, the host of Breathe, the Stress Less podcast. I want to invite you to join me as I share practical tips based on science, inspired by God's Word, to help you spark joy and restore God's peace and love to your soul. Subscribe now and go to lifeaudio.com. Today's Bible verse is Psalm 62, 5 and 6. For God alone, O my soul, wait in silence, for my hope is from Him. He only is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. Several years ago, I lost my mobility for three months after suffering leg injuries. I lived in a three-story townhouse at the time, and my bedroom was on the top floor. Days were exhausting, but nights were worse because insomnia hit and hung on for weeks. One evening, as I hoisted myself backwards up the stairs to my room, I muttered under my breath, I can't do this anymore. The moment those words escaped my lips, I sensed the Holy Spirit say, That is not true. The conviction came quick and clear. I'd spoken a lie over myself. If I continued to speak lies, I would soon believe them and fall into a pit of despair. This was a significant aha moment in my spiritual journey, and I'm grateful that the Holy Spirit's nudge helped me recognize the dark path I was on. I immediately changed my words to something like, I can't do this on my own, but God will strengthen me and get me through this season. I've been more mindful in all matters relating to self-talk ever since. Our self-talk matters. We can either encourage or discourage ourselves through the words we speak. It seems the psalmist understood and applied this concept. Do you hear the way David talked to himself in today's verse? First, David instructed his soul, that is, the core of his mental, emotional, and spiritual being to maintain a single focus on God alone. He may have been sitting in the midst of discouraging circumstances, but he did not give himself license to seek comfort or consolation in lesser gods. He reminded himself to set his sights on the God of heaven and earth, the sovereign king over all, 
no one else and nothing else would do. Second, God commanded his soul to wait in silence for God to act. It's possible that a part of him wanted to tell God what to do or to take matters into his own hands, but he knew better, so he talked that part of himself down. Third, the psalmist reminded himself that his hope was found in God alone. It did not come from creature comforts, from favorable circumstances, or from friendships that fulfilled emotional needs. God was his only source of security in the present and for the future. Fourth, David told himself that God and God alone was his rock and salvation and fortress. It's possible that in times of war, his human nature tried to convince him to trust in horses and chariots, in his armies and their shields and swords. But again, David knew better. God alone could save him from his enemies. God alone could shield and defend him and provide a sanctuary, a, a safe place for him to hide where no one could find him apart from God giving the go-ahead to do so. And finally, David declared this truth over himself. I shall not be shaken. In Psalm 62, too, he said something very similar. I will not be greatly shaken. But in today's verse, his words carry greater certainty. He left no room for his soul to cave into fear or feel overwhelmed by adverse circumstances. David's example of appropriate self-talk leaves much for us to learn. Our human bent always leans toward the negative. Our thoughts tell us that our circumstances are unfair. They're too difficult for us to endure. We're fighting a losing battle. There's no way we can win when the odds are stacked against us. The enemy of our soul is passionate about destroying us. So these are the lies he feeds us and wants us to believe. He wins if we habitually incorporate those lies in our self-talk. Let's not give him the satisfaction of taking us out. Let's stand against him by engaging in self-talk that reminds us to keep our focus on God alone, to wait in silence on the one who gives us hope, to trust in him who's our rock and our salvation and our fortress, and to rest assured that we will not be shaken. David's self-talk to his soul equips us with words that are rooted and grounded in godly truth. The next time we catch ourselves speaking lies over ourselves, let's stop immediately and replace our words with truth. Today's Bible verse is a good place to start. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for David's example of appropriate and life-giving self-talk. Please show us when we speak lies over ourselves and stop us short. Guard us from falling into harmful patterns that lead to despair and help us engage in self-talk that's life-giving because it's grounded in truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Bible Verse is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Christmas. For most kids, it's the most joyful time of the year. But this Christmas, 1.5 million children will spend the holiday separated from a parent because their mom or dad is behind bars. Prison Fellowship Angel Tree needs churches in our communities to volunteer to bless local children with a gift, the gospel, and a loving message from their parent. I believe this is an incredible opportunity for our listeners to share the love of Jesus this Christmas. Many of Prison Fellowship's partner churches continue ministry to local Angel Tree families after Christmas is over. Through this ongoing care, Prison Fellowship Angel Tree strengthens and encourages families every day. 
Angel Tree wouldn't be possible without the help of faithful volunteers. If you're ready to make an eternal impact in your community, please register today at angeltree.org backslash church. That's angeltree.org backslash church. Miracles are everywhere. Let our adventure begin! Discover Pure Flix, your premium streaming service where faith and family values come home. Ready to have some fun? The most exclusive selection of quality, wholesome movies and series that will uplift your spirit. A man can argue whether God exists, but when he looks at his daughters, he knows. With new arrivals every week. Unbelievable. Save big and enjoy the possibilities, like invitations to exclusive theatrical screenings. I see it, so I believe it. Find out more by joining today at pureflix.com.